Nanti. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everyone. We from Sekolah Rendah Islam Hidayah Basiris Batu Pahat Johor We present to you our project called Rebecop Let me introduce ourselves Hi, my name is Laura Khan Bin Sudran My name is Fatima Binti Abdul Majid And I'm Nora Uda Binti Nordan Azizan And not to forget our project advisor Dr. Herdawati Binti Abdul Kadir We are inventing solutions to alert us whenever there are signs of river pollution. Do you know in 2019, toxic chemical waste was illegally dumped into Sungai Gimkim in Pasir Gudang, affecting some 4,000 people who sought treatment for shortness of breath, nausea and vomiting after inhaling toxic fumes. Now, you must be wondering how this river cop can help us. This river cop consists of sensors. Place sensor to detect polluted water. In general, polluted water is acidic. Gas sensor to detect polluted air or toxic fumes. The fumes are evaporated from the polluted water. Processor. Arduino controller to process sensing data and make a decision to be taken. Alarm. They can notify if there is pollution. Buzzer. It gives signal by making noise. Notify people nearby. Beacon light. Like we always see on top of the cop car, it will turn to blue and red light to alert us. To power up this system, we use green energy generated by solar panel. No need to have conventional electric supply. It's eco-friendly. Together, we assemble the sensor kit with other electronics components to make this river car. This is testing for the pH sensor. The sensor was deep in the water with different pH values. Safe water will light up the beacon in green color. While the polluted water detected by pH sensor will change the beacon light into red and blue color. We also tested the gas sensor. Healthy air will light up the beacon in green color. While the polluted air detected by gas sensor will change the beacon light into red and blue color. Beacon light and buzzer will turn on if anyone or both sensors detect pollution. The river cup has 117 cm of height and 11 cm of diameter. We need only a small area to place this river cup. The river cork body was made using PVC material, durable material but economical. This makes the river cork affordable to be placed along the river. We propose this river cork to be located at the river bank next to school building so people nearby can be alerted if there is unwanted incident happen like in Kim Kim River in 2019. By this time, contaminated substances and water in Kim Kim River has been cleared from the 1.5 km stretch of Sungai Kim that was affected. However, who will guarantee that this incident will not happen again? We believe this river cop can help community and authority to monitor our river. Innovating this is beyond our classroom experience. We're glad that we can start now. We are really excited to contribute towards a better world. Let's love our river.